Hey Team Zapier, my name is Kevin Zickerman. I am founder and CEO of My Wi-Fi Networks and I wanted to do this very quick video to show you exactly how our integration works. There's two separate ways that we can integrate with you guys. But first I wanted to show you what our system does very quickly just so you understand where this data is coming from. So we have a Wi-Fi network that allows people to connect via social media. So for example, if I was a Wi-Fi user, I would see the hotspot. I would connect with Facebook, Twitter, Google, LinkedIn, etc. For example, if I use Facebook, I connect and I get my valid email address transferred to our system. What we then do is engage the user, but then we also plug you guys in right over here when we have all this data that's collected, we're able to send that to a third party. So we get first name, last name, email, etc. So there's two ways to initiate this. Number one, you can initiate it from Zapier. So I'm logged into my account and this is the first way I can initiate it. I can make a zap and I choose the trigger to be my Wi-Fi networks. Now I have three options. I can choose a trigger from a device, a campaign, or a location. Every time they connect, they connect at a location through a device that's using a certain campaign. This will just allow the user to be flexible in what they choose. For example, if I choose a new device user, then I have my system all mapped up. To add this, we basically use an API key. So the same way that most of your partners do, we generate an API key for our users and they have to then paste that to add it into your system. And when I continue, I can choose my device. This is pretty standard. This is not using the template, so this is initiated outside of the system. Uh, the reason we're doing this is, uh, you'll see in a minute, this way is all right, it's very flexible, but it also requires you to enter all this stuff manually. Now the second way is initiating from my Wi-Fi, and this is the new way that we developed that uses the custom API and allows us to initiate a new user regardless of device campaign or location, and then save that as a template to repurpose later. So how that works in our system, we go to automation, and this is our automation engine that we use for other third-party providers such as uh, Infusionsoft, MailChimp, GetResponse, and all those are done directly. But over here we have little Zapier tags. So in our automation, I'm going to choose new user thank you. And this is going to be triggered when a user either connects or disconnects to a Wi-Fi hotspot, in this case when they connect, uh, in real time or on delay. So here you can do some delays on our end before we even send the webhook to you guys. You can choose whether this is recurring or just sent once. You can choose which location or a campaign or a combination of the two to apply this automation in multiple areas. And then down here, I will choose Zapier and I will create a new Zap. And this is where we have the templates built in. So this makes it easy for a user to create this once and then later they can change any of these details while keeping that Zap template in place. And even better, once that user creates a Zap template, as I'll show you in a minute, it's available for later use to add additional triggers to that same action. Now here, for example, I can choose to track a Facebook offline conversion event and this using the standard pop-up. Now it's full screen here because I have a full screen browser, but this is typically a Zapier pop-up where I'm asked to uh, integrate this and I have my description over here exactly what this does. When somebody connects via Wi-Fi, it's triggered as an offline conversion. So this is great if you're running a Facebook ad and you want to trigger who's actually visited the location and used Wi-Fi, that's a great conversion to measure. So we're going to do that here using Zapier. I'm going to click on continue. Uh, and here you'll notice that there's no longer three options. There's simply a new social Wi-Fi user login. So the location, the campaign, the device is all now managed on our end. So it's very simple for the user. Then they click continue. They use the same account here, test and all good. As I continue, we did something very unique here. So here I'm going to say Kevin's Zapier test one, for example. This will create a template from a template to allow me then to use this and repurpose it on our end and without having to go back into Zapier. So I'm just going to skip the test and continue. And here I want to create an offline event in Facebook. I click on continue. I have my accounts over here. I'm going to test to make sure that it's valid. So I'll choose this. Continue. Then I choose my business account here. And I choose my event set. So now I'm tracking the offline conversions for these people that use Wi-Fi. Everything is all good. I will create this and continue. And great, we are all good. So when I click on finish, I can then save this zap into a certain area. I will turn this zap on. And so we're all good to go. Then I'm gonna flip back over to the My Wi-Fi uh, area and click on save. So now you notice I have the new user thank you item over here. I can now edit this automation and see exactly what is all set up. I can change my locations or campaigns, what actually triggers this Zapier. And what's very cool about this is that later on, if I want to create a new, entirely new automation on different criteria, on a different connection delay and whatever it is, if I click on add new automation and I go to Zapier, this new Zap that I created is now in this list that I could use later on. So if you have any questions about the Zapier or my Wi-Fi integrations, please let me know. We are so excited to start automating campaigns using Zapier. Thanks for watching.